Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, Easter is a great time to take sweet little treats and turn them into little friends. So I'm going to teach you how to take a dum dum lollipop and turn it into a sweet little bunny for Easter. So for this project, I'm going to be using a small round uh, lollipop. I'm going to be using some pipe cleaners. You're only going to need one pipe cleaner per sucker. I've got some beads here. Now the beads are for the head and this is really super important. It doesn't matter what size the bead is. You can see these are two different size beads. But what's important is the size of the hole. The hole must be at least three millimeters or larger. And now for the feet, I've got these really cute leftover stickers from Valentine's Day. But if you don't have any heart stickers readily available, you can also use construction paper and just cut it into the shape of a heart. That's all good too. And then you'll just glue it on. I'm going to be using some little puff balls for the tail. I've got my handy dandy Sharpie pen to draw the face on. Got my scissors. And of course, my glue gun, which will be super important. So I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use this sucker here and I'm going to use a pink pipe cleaner. And like I said, you only need one pipe cleaner. I'm going to use the red bead for my head and I think I will use this orange one for the tail. So I'm just going to take all the other stuff away there. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pipe cleaner. I'm going to lay it behind the stick just like that. And I do want to make sure that I twist this stick uh, wrapper just to make sure that it's nice and tight there. And then I'm going to lay this pipe cleaner right underneath the stick. And I usually use my pinky as a measure, so the first joint of my pinky, but if you have a tiny pinky, you might want to make it a little bigger. And all I'm going to do is wrap it around once, just like that. All I did was wrap it around once. And then I'm going to use my pinky again to measure where the hand would be cut. Now I'm going to take that bead and you're going to see it slips really easily right over that stick. And that's because that's three millimeters. That hole is three millimeters. Okay, now for the ears. Find about the halfway mark. You can fold it in half if you want to, but I'm just going to eyeball it. And what you're going to do is wrap it around once and that's going to secure it onto the stick. Now I fold this end, the loose end, over to the stick and I've got my loose end on top of the stick there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it really tight here and twist at the base where the two pipe cleaners come together. Twist, twist, two twists. Then I'm going to come over to the other side, do the same thing and once again at the base here, at the base, twist, twist. There we go. Now I can scooch my ears into the shape that I want. Pull these two edges up. Now be very careful here. You're going to cut off those little edges. And you can even slide it off if you want to because it might make it safer for you and easier. Just cut those two little pieces off and then you should be able to find that hole again and slide it back down. There you go. Now you can make your ears go up or they can be flopsy, however you want them. And now we're going to do the feet. So for this I'm going to use two of my stickers. And what I do is I'm going to take my top sticker, whichever one's going to go on the top, and I'm going to cut a small, once again using that pinky, where my nail is there, I'm going to cut out a small little divot so that my pinky would fit in there. Here we go. Oh, see that? My pinky would fit right there. So now I take the backing off of my first one. And if you did this with uh, con construction paper or cardboard, then what you would do is just glue this to the bottom. But I'm going to actually place the sticker right there so that the tip is right at the back side of the sucker. See that? Now, I want to make sure that this doesn't stick to things, so I'm going to take my second heart here, peel the back off of it, and slide it down in there. Right on top. There we go. And now he's got some feet. Now I'm almost done. 
what I'm going to do is use my pen here, divide the feet in half, and give them some toes. And I give her a little face. Give her some eyes, a little triangle nose. And bunnies have those little swoops. So I'm going to go down like the letter J and a backwards letter J. And there she's got a cute little face. Now the last thing she needs is something to help make her stay standing, and that is her tail. So I'm just going to glue her little tail. So I've got the little bunny tail here, and place it right on the back there, and there she is. She's all set for Easter. And there you have it, a sweet little treat that's not only cute, but good to eat. Now I do want to show you a couple different examples of what you can do just in case you don't have heart stickers or you don't have beads. You can make your bunny's feet out of paper and he's just as cute. You don't have to have those heart stickers. And if you don't have that rounded kind of a lollipop, you can also use one of those flat lollipops. That works just as well. Or if you don't have something to make the feet but you do have some puff balls, you can use three little puff balls to be your feet and the tail, and that'll make them stand beautifully. And last but not least, if you have a whole bunch of those leftover Valentine stickers and you don't have any beads, you could use the stickers to make the bunny's head. So lots of different ways to make your bunny, but they'll all still be super sweet. For more fun ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.